Feeling disconnected from your community? Turn to BrainerdDispatch.com. Local news keeps you in the know on what's happening in your area. From breaking news to high school sports reports, get the important news of the day and updates on local events only at BrainerdDispatch.com. Good morning, Brainerd Lakes area. It's Monday, May 13th. I'm Teresa Burke with your Brainerd Dispatch Minute, the weekday podcast of the Brainerd Dispatch, named best daily newspaper in the state of Minnesota, catching you up on the news of the Brainerd Lakes area. Here are today's top local headlines. Lori Wright and daughter Kailani Nakano are helping fight cancer. Five-year-old Kailani got involved in the efforts this year and raised over $1,000 for breast cancer research. She did it to honor family members who have the disease. Then Wright and Kailani walked in the Susan G. Coleman Race for the Cure this past weekend in the Twin Cities. It was a great way to celebrate Mother's Day for the duo. Read more about Kailani's efforts in my story in Saturday's paper or at BrainerdDispatch.com. The United Food and Commercial Workers Local 663 Union reached a contract agreement with managers from Quizbergs and Miners grocery stores. The contract includes wage increases for all employees and creates pathways to better part-time jobs with no benefits repealed or lost. The three-year agreement is retroactive to December 2023. Managing Editor Renee Richardson has more in Saturday's Dispatch and online. Central Lakes College was abuzz last week as students celebrated their graduations. Thursday saw career and technical education students from the Brainerd campus receive their diplomas. Don't miss reporter Tim Spire's story in Saturday's paper and photographer Kelly Humphrey's photos online. Brainerd Lakes Salvation Army Captain Jeff Curran was deployed to Blair, Nebraska to assist with disaster relief efforts after destructive tornadoes. More than a dozen tornadoes touched down in Nebraska and Iowa on April 26. At least four of them reached EF3 strength. Curran's job is to oversee logistics for the Salvation Army's efforts, including an inventory of resources. Editor Matt Erickson has the full story in Saturday's paper and online. Abundant rainfall in April and May pushed drought conditions in the Brainerd Lakes area to levels not seen in a year. About three-quarters of Crow Wing County is now listed as abnormally dry, and no part of the county is listed in moderate or worse drought conditions. The only area in Minnesota left with drought is in the northwestern part of the state, including parts of northern Cass County. Matt Erickson has more drought information in today's Dispatch E-Edition. After multiple meetings and discussions on cost versus benefits, the Baxter City Council split in its approval for 2024 street projects. The council adopted assessment rules for the street work on a vote of 3-2. to Find a list of streets up for improvements this year in Renee Richardson's story in Saturday's paper. From former Dispatch publisher Terry McCullough's column, This Was Brainerd, Exploring the Dispatch Archives, here's today's tidbit of local history. Eighty years ago today, in 1944, the Dispatch reported that one of the largest settlements ever awarded an employee of the Northern Pacific Railroad $55,000 $55,000 has been given to Stanley Pizar, who has been employed at the Brainerd Shops for 25 years. He suffered loss of his left leg and left arm when a freight car rolled over them. For a daily dose of This Was Brainerd, visit BrainerdDispatch.com or find McCullough's column in the newspaper or e-edition. Now here's today's Lakes Area Forecast, brought to you by Tanner Motors of Brainerd. Storm Tracker. Weather for the Brainerd area today. Looking at the smoke clearing on out, and we'll be looking at plenty of sunshine with high temperatures in the mid 60s. Getting down into the lower 40s for tonight. Clear skies continue into Tuesday, mid 60s once again. We'll be looking at some rain chances as we go throughout Wednesday and Thursday. I'm Storm Tracker meteorologist Robert Pointer. Thanks to Tanner Motors for their support, and thank you for listening to the Brainerd Dispatch Minute. For more news throughout the day, And for information on becoming a subscriber, visit BrainerdDispatch.com. Have a great day, and we'll catch you tomorrow.